now. The House is getting ready for a big vote next week on Representative Bob Goodlatte's balanced budget amendment. Now, as we've reported, that measure was introduced back in January, and it would put a tight cap on the federal budget and require a two-thirds vote in Congress to raise taxes. Ten-year size Scott Lehman caught up with Congressman Goodlatte today, and he joins us now live in the newsroom. Scott, why does the congressman believe that he was able to rally a good amount of Democrat support this time for the measure? Well, Jay, as you and I both know, it's a lot easier to rally support there in Washington when you can put up some pretty strong poll numbers. And Congressman Goodlatte would argue that his balanced budget amendment polls pretty strong uh, in both parties. This would be the first uh, time the balanced budget amendment went to a vote on the House floor since 1995. It passed the Republican-controlled House that year, that year, but failed in a, by a single vote in the Senate. Goodlatte's proposal is pretty much a carbon copy of that 1995 bill, except he says with a few minor differences, nothing major. Now, the magic number for Goodlatte is 290. That's the number of votes he needs, two-thirds of the House to pass it. Republicans control the House, but not by that much. So I asked the congressman about the bill's popularity and if it has any chance of passing the democratically controlled Senate. They understand what a balanced budget is because they live with that in their family, in their businesses, local governments, state governments all have to live with a balanced budget requirement. And so they think the federal government should have to do the same thing. I think it has a good chance in the Senate, but even if it comes up short, it'll get close. And then that will give us some momentum going into next year and into the next Congress after that. Now, this is a constitutional amendment, so if it gets the two-thirds majority in both houses, then it hits the states where it needs what's called a three-quarters supermajority, and that would be 38 states. And, yes, I must confess that Congressman Goodlatte helped me do that math. That's it for now. Reporting here in the newsroom, Scott Lehman, WSLS, 10 on your side.